Hello students and learners, welcome to the Brain Box Tutorials. Here is with me literature paper of ICSE class 10. Paper was good, all the questions, extra extracts from section B, C, D were all predictable, all important questions were asked and very easy questions which could be answered very well if you had prepared, if you had read the uh, text properly. So let us discuss section A first. Question number one, where does Portia say that she and Narisa will stay until their husband's return? In Venice, at Belmont, at Padua, in a monastery. She says that they are going to monastery till their husband's return. Number two, what aspect of Shylock's nature is revealed in his words to bait fish with her? If it will feed nothing else, it will feed any revenge. My revenge it will be. Uh, number A, pride. Number B, envy. Number C, vengefulness. Number D, greed. It is vengefulness. That is his revenge. Number 3, Grishiano exclaims, we are the Jessons, we have won the fleece. In this context, the word fleece refers to option number A, Portia and Nerissa. Yes, option number A is correct. They have won Portia and Nerissa's hands in the casket and that is why he said this to Lorenzo and uh, the friend Solanio when he came. Okay, next one, the quality of mercy is not strained. Who says this to whom? This is uh, Portia's mercy switch to Shylock. So option number C, Portia to Shylock is correct option. Number five, what does Portia ask of Antonio as a remembrance before she leaves the courtroom? Uh, his ring, the knife, the scroll, his gloves. That is his gloves. Option number D is correct. He asks for the gloves of Antonio and ring from uh, Bassanio. Okay, next one. When Lorenzo says, fair ladies, you drop mana in the way of starved people. He means that Portia and Narissa have number A, prepared a banquet for their husbands. Number B, brought good news for Lorenzo and Antonio. Yes, option number B is correct. Brought good news. Number seven, which of the following statements is not true of Maggie? Number A, she was sent to the poor house. She was bedridden. She had an injured spine and she had suffered a fall. Here, option number A is correct. She was not sent to the poor house. Joe was planning to send, him, send her to the poor house, but she was not sent. So, option number A is correct. Next number 8, the short story The Little Match Girl can be called a fairy tale because option number A, it is set in fairyland. Option number B, it has elements of ma magic and fantasy. Yes, it has elements of magic and fantasy as she visualizes all the four things that the goose is jumping and the iron stuff is there and all. Okay, now number 9, why did the Guja woman uh, strike the big brass garas with a stick? Number A, to produce a musical effect. Uh, number B, to quieten the buffaloes. Number C, to see which one were empty. Number D, to frighten the crocodiles. Is, it is option D, to frighten the crocodiles. Next one, number 10. Choose the option that lists the sequence of events in the correct order. Number 1, when the rain stopped, they rushed outdoors, forgetting all about Margaret in their eagerness to experience the warmth of the sun. Number 2, the children carried the pleading and protesting Margaret to the closet and locked her in. Number 3, it was then that they realized with shame that Margaret was still locked in their closet. They had deprived her of what she longed for the most, the sun. And last and all, too soon, the brief summer ended and the children hurried indoors to escape the heavy rains. Here, first number is number 2, then number 1 then number 4 and then number 3. So, 2, 1, 4, 3 is the correct sequence that is option number D. Coming to number 11, in my greatest Olympic prize, Der Ferrer refers to, Der Ferrer means leader, uh, Hitler was called this by this name. So, option number A, Hitler is correct option. Next one, which of the following lines contains the same literary device as the one in I wandered lonely as a cloud from Wordsworth's poem Daffodils. Here in I wandered lonely as a cloud, simile has been used. The literary device is simile. 
so here let us see a b c in a b c d which one has simile number a and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep this is refrain number b fresh as a rose in june clearly this is a simile something is as fresh as a rose now coming to next one which of the following statements is used by anglio to describe the caged bird which is used by anglio okay number a he opens his throat to sing yes it was used number b he dares to claim the sky this was for free bird he leaves on the back of the wind this is also for free bird he thinks of another breeze this is also for free bird so option number a is used for the caged bird coming to number 14 when did the angel appear to above ben adam on a moonless night three nights in a row two nights in succession twice the same night option number c will be the correct option two nights in succession okay next one select the option that shows the correct relationship between statements 1 and 2 from browning's poem the patriot statement 1 is the old walls rocked with the crowd and cries and statement 2 there is nobody on the house tops now house tops now so option number a one means the same as two no number b one is a contrast of two clearly it is a contrast uh, in a statement one all the people are there on the walls and statement two the house tops are empty last one the eight other athletes stopped in their tracks means that they number eight stood poised to run number b turned slowly around number c slowed down gradually number d halted quite suddenly this is number d halted quite suddenly okay so all the mcqs were very easy as the language uh, paper this paper also seems to be very easy now i'll come up with the solution of section b c d also till then bye bye jai hind